What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about the new 12 player trial here in the Necrom chapter, Sanity's Edge. The developers kind of gave us a look at exactly what Sanity's Edge is all about. And it says there is a Mage's Guild researcher, Warlock Vanton, and he is trapped in his own mind by a terrifying Daedra. So the trial setting is kind of supposed to be, I guess, going with the theme of Necrom, that kind of creepy, scary, just kind of dark overall look. And it says, when designing uh, the enemies, we considered what Vanton would be horrified to see within his own mind and how the different fragment parts of his memory could challenge players. The nightmarish elements allowed for a great mix of monsters. It says, however, it's not just the twisted invaders that make this new trial so unique. As you delve deeper into Vanton's mind, you discover that even the world around you bends to the tormentor's corrupting influence. It says, as with other trials, one uh, requires your party to ultimately defeat a series of challenging bosses, given, you know, kind of that same concept as you've come to kind of expect within other trials, but a wide variety of gameplay elements in each encounter. It says, what's fantastic about Sanity's Edge is that each of the boss battles has a unique flow and presents their own challenges. There are puzzle elements, group coordination moments, and instances of chaos that with the proper plan of attack, you can conquer. As a result, Sanity's Edge challenges you and your team in new perplexing ways. Then they kind of go on to talk about the rewards. It says, you, if you and your allies brave these two group activities, you can earn all new item sets and collectibles found only in the Necron chapter. It says, completing you know certain things within the game, of course, certain things within this trial, you can earn uh, you know different steeds, uh, different mounts, of course, the shroom uh, tenders gr uh, garb outfit and even the fragment of tales of tribute deck and it says, as uh, as a trial sanctity's egg provides more powerful rewards including four distinct item sets unique furnishings body and face markings and most notably the dawning realm of dark dreams mount i talked about this uh, a while back in a video this is a pretty nice looking mount um the great thing about this in my opinion is I know a lot of the in-game community were kind of disappointed with the skins and mounts that they were receiving with some of the trials we've had over the years. Now, not all trials give you great skins and great mounts. Sometimes they're very disappointing. And a lot of the in-game community felt like that a lot of stuff that you could get in the crown store looked better than what you could get within trials. And if you're playing trials on you know, the hardest difficulty, doing all these different achievements, it gets very, very hard to coordinate 12 players to be able to pull off some of this. And to me, if you're able to do that, the rewards you get, the way they look, the skins, the mounts, should look better than what you can buy in the Crown Store. So hopefully, this uh, you know th this kind of reward system that they're adding uh, within Sanctity's Edge will provide people with a little bit more uh, you know things to go for, things that they really like, uh, some good looking mounts, like I said, some good looking skins, and of course some good rewards is kind of along the way in general. It says, of course, there's going to be new set items, uh, a light set, you know, medium, heavy, that kind of thing, what you always will kind of see in a trial. And the Peace and Serenity is going to be one of the light sets of armor. It says, it adds 657 critical chance, and gain minor slayer at all times, increasing your damage done to dungeon and trial and arena monsters by 5%. Of course, four pieces is going to add 129 weapon and spell damage. Five piece, which is perfected only, adds 129 weapon and spell damage. And the other five pieces, while you are standing still, you gain 465 weapon and spell damage. While you are moving, you gain 203 health, magic, and stamina recovery, which does seem like a pretty interesting set that I think some players may be able to figure out how to fit into some builds. I know we've had a lot of really good sets over the years, of course. I know if you're a person that doesn't really play Trials a lot, uh, you know, you may just be a solo player or whatever the case may be. A lot of the good sets in game come from Trials, a lot of those in game sets. And there's other things in game that you can find that kind of get close to the damage. But overall, you know, if you want to try out some of these sets, and I really do recommend just trying to find a group of players, even if you play on normal, to try to go in and get some of these gear sets just to try them for yourself. Because some of the things that you get from Trials, are very very good and sometimes they're just very interesting in my opinion to try out in different builds of course it says new challenges awaits and tamriel's adventures within the necron chapters so of course gather your forces and kind of lastly they talked about um they looked at the, a lot of mechanics and designs 
of encounters much more closely and tried to tailor sets that either helped overcome some of the challenges or really doubled down on strategies they thought players would kind of use in certain encounters. He says they wanted this, uh, the set to feel like the different sets that you get from uh, the trial overall to feel specially crafted to help the player overcome the trial while still being usable in other places in the game as well. He says additionally, each trial attempt unlocks more gear, of course, to help them tackle it again. So overall, I, I think... This sounds like it's going to be a very interesting trial. Over the years, some trials, in my opinion, have been better than others. I know everybody may not agree which trial they like the most. But some we get sometimes are really good, and sometimes they feel almost way too similar to others. Or not as good as others, I guess, just overall the way that it looks and, and plays and you know the, the encounters. And I think the whole idea of going with that dark, kind of gloomy, creepy feel of Necrom into this trial is going to be... A really unique experience. So leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think about San, uh, Sanity's Edge. Of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.